Hi friends, Mickey Mankus here and welcome to Out the Back Door. Tonight I am making carbonara for supper, but I'm going to make it a simple way with ingredients you may have in your home already or that you're guaranteed to find in the grocery store. Come along. Okay, carbonara is really easy to make um, and it doesn't take many ingredients, but I want to get everything ready ahead of time because once it gets going, it moves fast and you don't want to have to stop and try to get things ready. Um, one thing I'm going to be using is Parmesan cheese. I wasn't able to find any Romano in the grocery store at the time that I was in there and I'm going to be grading up one cup of this. Um, also, I wasn't able to find any pancetta, and that's probably the most common thing I would have been able to find in the grocery store. So I am going to be using um, bacon in mine. All right, now that I've got my cheese all shredded and everything, I'm going to put this into a bowl. We also need two large eggs, and I'm going to just break up the yolks right now and mix them up a bit. And we're going to be adding that to our um, cheese. Like I said, I usually try to find Romano cheese. I couldn't find any right at the moment. So um, I grabbed Parmesan. That'll work also. We're mixing the eggs in with our cheese. Just give it a stir. And we want to put fresh ground pepper in. Um, I did just grind this up a couple of days ago, so I'm just going to liberally add it in. Fresh cracked pepper is so much more delicious than just store-bought. All right, give that a whisk around. Okay, while well, I've got that done, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be adding salt to um, a pot of boiling water. Okay, I've got a pot of boiling water here. I'm gonna be very liberal with the amount of salt that I'm adding. Probably a good tablespoon. Dump that in there. We want the water to really be salty. And I've got one pound of spaghetti here. Um, I'm gonna be adding that to my pot. Now I'm going to let that cook down. Okay, there is um, the traditional way of making carbonara. You're going to try to find um, the jowl cheek of a pig. There's no way we're going to ever find that around here, not in the small community that we live in. If you're in a big city, I'm sure you can't. And I don't even remember how to pronounce the name of that piece of meat. Otherwise, you can look for pancetta. Um, I wasn't able to find any of that. So next best thing is bacon. I told you we're going to make this recipe easy in using things that you have um, in-house or you're able to find very easily at the grocery store. I'm using my canned bacon. And I did open this jar up um, a few days ago because I was using the bacon already. And if you can get thick slice, that's better yet. I am going to be pulling about six half pieces or three whole pieces um, out to use. I'm just going to tuck the rest of that back in the jar and pop that in the refrigerator. Okay, so as you can see, I do have excess fat here because um, when I had canned the bacon, the purpose was so that all I needed to do is throw it in a fry pan for a short period of time and it would be cooked up already. I do want this grease. We're going to render this down. So I'm going to just slice this up into um, bite-sized pieces. Now if you're using raw bacon, that's fine. Just slice it up like I am. I mean, the cut of this actually reminds me more of the meat that we should have been looking for. 
At the same time that you're doing this, make sure that you're keeping an eye on your pasta. We do not want to overcook it. We're going to cook it to the point where it's al dente and that's it. If you don't know what al dente is, it has just a tiny bit of a chew to it. Okay, I'm going to get these into the saucepan right now. I've got a medium heat underneath my um, pan here. And like I had said, um, I'm going to render this. But being my bacon um, was partially cooked already and doesn't have as much fat in it, I'm going to add just a tiny bit of olive oil to it. And we're going to cook this until the bacon is close to crispy. Looks like our pasta is doing well. Get the top portion underneath the water so that'll cook up. Now I just want to give you a heads up. When you go to drain your pasta, we're going to need one cup of this water before you drain it out. All right, we have most everything together and ready to go. That's why I said now it's going to start moving fast and we're going to have to keep an eye on it. Okay, if you're not sure what carbonara is, it's actually a very simple pasta dish that usually only has like five ingredients, but the main is um, the spaghetti noodles. Yes, you could use linguine, and you're going to have some type of a pork meat in it. You're going to have your cheese like pecorino romano, parmesan. This is not a fancy schmancy meal. It may sound like it, and it may look like it when you give your presentation, but actually it's really simple and easy to throw together. All right, our bacon bits are cooking up nicely. If you don't know how to check to see if your spaghetti is al dente or any type of a pasta, just pull one of the noodles out and take a bite of it. See, and there's still a little bit too much chew to it. I could kind of feel it while I'm mixing it around but um, it's getting close. I know some people have taken their spaghetti noodle or whatever and actually tossed it against the refrigerator and if it sticks, they say it's done. I'm gonna turn that on low. Okay, our bacon is done where we want it and so is our pasta and like I said, I need a cup of this water. You want the water because it's been salted. We need that flavor. And also because we've got starch in it. Here comes the part where we're going to have to work quickly. What we're going to do now is we're going to be dumping our pasta into um, our bacon. We're going to mix it around. Okay, now we're actually going to make a creamy sauce out of this. This is where we're going to work fast. Our egg and our cheese and our pepper. We are going to put this in here. We are going to add a little bit of water to begin with. And now we're going to start tossing to mix this. We don't want scrambled eggs. We have to make sure that this is on a low heat. But what is happening while we're mixing this egg and cheese in with our water is it's emulsifying. And that's what's going to give us that creamy delicious texture that is coating the spaghetti. Oh, this is looking so beautiful. You know, I watch Chopped a lot. <laughs> yeah, I like watching the cooking shows. I'd never make it on there. I like making different things, um, making up my own recipes and everything. But the speed that they have to work with and try to come up with something as fast as they do, I'm sorry, I just, I wouldn't be able to handle that stress. Okay, dump the whole cup in. I'm going to keep tossing this, let it emulsify. Now, if you follow me, 
You know, a lot of times I'm tweaking recipes, and yes, I'm going to tweak this because technically this is done. You're ready to eat. You're ready to plate up. But Mr. Mancus likes more meat in his. So here's where I'm tweaking. I've got little baby shrimp. Now, this is no longer anywhere close to a traditional carbonara, but I like to please my husband. And I'm just gonna toss that around a little bit so that um, the shrimp warms up a tad. I don't wanna cook the shrimp because it's already cooked. All right, I can never plate this the way they show. And I also went and shredded a little bit more Parmesan cheese. We'll sprinkle that on top. And there you have it. A simple, easy carbonara. All right, time to taste. Very good. And it's not that expensive either. I want to thank you for joining me. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. So until next time, you have a wonderful day. God bless.